All right. The floor is yours. Okay, my, my stopper is ready. <laughs> also. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Clara from Wikimedia Poland, uh, where I have been developing uh, educational department since September 2019, because we, we, we hadn't one like this. Um, and it was very nice to hear, to, hear, uh, to listen to this uh, previous presentation. Um, because I believe that Wikimedians around the world can, uh, can do everything and anything for open educational resources. And the, my first task uh, at this job, because I am um, Wikipedia, Wiki, Wikipedia since 2015, uh, so I was hired to, to combine uh, my um, experience with the situation in uh, Polish schools. Uh, so the question was why there is no Wikipedia uh, in the Polish schools or why is it um, treated like something wrong and you can get even low degree or be, I don't know, bad treated, badly treated because of using Wikipedia in the, uh, during the lesson or something like that. Uh, so um, I was uh, thinking with my team and of course, this is the same everywhere. The teachers are overwhelmed and frustrated. But in Poland, especially, we had we had also strikes, and uh, then pandemic and everything. And we uh, we saw the anyway, this, um, everything is connected with uh, with the um, position of the teacher in the school. So where there is no support uh, from the principals, there there would be no place to uh, to to do something new. To, to, to select a leader for a new project, especially something so, such strange project like Wikipedia project. Uh, but uh, all around the world, there are many things uh, going on. And uh, you, can, you will see uh, later in my uh, slides, you can click all the links. There are many Wiki projects uh, in France and in Africa, as we've uh, heard and also in Poland, and we respond for many situations like COVID-19 too. Um, so for us, it was important to introduce Wikipedia tools, uh, like not for one lesson, for one semester even, but for a longer time. Um, we, we thought about uh, making um, special tools, lesson plans, uh, to be connected with um, key digital competences uh, and many, many things. Also uh, to show to teachers that this could be a great uh, alternative to volunteering work. Um, and then uh, was March 2020 and we couldn't meet in person. Uh, really like one week after we uh, launched the project Wikischool, uh, the, the lockdown uh, began. Uh, but we are keeping, <laughs> we are trying to do our best still, uh, and we want, uh, that's why uh, our goals were maybe good for uh, this pandemic situation, because we are not like government uh, programs or some many, many deadlines pro projects. Uh, we uh, stand for um, openness and uh, conversation, so we are not forcing solutions. And we just want teachers get used to Wikipedia, not uh, um, thinking, let them think about this like something good, not bad. Uh, this is also cause this causes some difficulties, uh, this lack of deadlines uh, and so on. Um, I think in a year I will be able to talk about this uh, when I uh, will evaluate this situation. The, to the pilot phase consisted of 14 schools. Uh, this is my great map <laughs> uh, from all around the Poland. And there are very different kinds of schools, public, non-public, and the teachers are um, sometimes are like celebrities among the teacher community in Poland. Uh, and um, they are very, uh, like, they're real enthusiasts about teaching. They're like, teachers of the year and some other uh, uh, persons. Uh, as you can see, we this is our third version of Timeline, but now we are working on uh, MOOC. This is not so very popular in Poland. 
and I'm also this is very uh, first time for me to, to build MOOC on Moodle. Uh, and also we are involving teachers in some other activities with Wikipedists. And we will all want to uh, meet with them in the winter camp, um, which previous was summer camp. <laughs> and uh, Clara, uh, we only see your first slides. We... Oh no, I don't know why. And now? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know why. So sorry. Um, I hope you will give me one minute more. So I mean, you will see this uh, presentation. Um, uh, sorry, this is our uh, map and teachers. And now, yes, so timeline. So uh, we want to meet uh, in uh, in uh, face to face and to talk about uh, all knowledge because we met online several times to talk about Wikipedia and we are sharing knowledge about this. Uh, but also we want to produce some um, hands-on materials for teaching about Wikipedia. Uh, I think uh, it would be um, very useful for uh, younger students to start with some, I don't know, memory or something like this. Uh, I want to invite some creators, artists, and so on to talk uh, with our teachers and to uh, prepare pro to prototype, prototypes of uh, such materials. And another thing I mentioned before, it's a MOOC, and it will be something um, new in Poland and for teachers. And uh, our inspiration was uh, MOOC uh, in Wikimedia Argentina. Uh, I hope it will uh, be launched in April 2021 um, and it will be very different ways of uh, learning about uh, things there. Okay, so no, nothing is working now. Um, anyway, there will be video, videos and the database of lesson plans um, and uh, I can say that men uh, Okay, huge part of budget went to this uh, to these videos because uh, I believe and I know from experience that people um, uh, more easily look at the video material, not to PDF with uh, lectures. So I hope it will be a nice uh, course for teacher for the teachers. Um, and uh, the the news is uh, the news are spreading. So uh, in this pandemic situation, it was nice to have a, few, uh, a phone call from Olga Tokarczuk Foundation a few months ago. Uh, Olga Tokarczuk won Nobel uh, Award, um, Nobel Award uh, in Literature for 2018. This is our great uh, writer in Poland. So I was really, I tried to be very professional, but inside I was so excited because they they heard about the Wiki, uh, Wiki school program and they told that they would like to be involved in education in Poland with us because uh, Olga Dukartuk loves Wiki, Wikipedia. So I was so touched by this and we have several uh, plans uh, for our uh, cooperation. Um, and uh, I hope that uh, this whole program will work and uh, that uh, af after pilot phase, we will uh, run out to whole Poland and every teacher will take, um, uh, will um, join this course and our other activities. Uh, because first uh, we want to tell them that um, for students and teachers, it's important to understand Wikipedia, not only like a reader, uh, but also like a content creator. And uh, this benefits with many ways um, to, to understand, to take responsibility for what are you writing, uh, to, to search for good sources and so on so, and so on, especially in the uh, fake news uh, storm uh, right now. I think it's very important to, to understand this medium. And uh, I will share this. Um, presentation and please read everything and ask me anything how we use another uh, projects of Wikipedia like Wikidata to, to make uh, tools like Histopedia and NT3 uh, for, for, the teacher, for teachers. Uh, there are very, very nice uh, tools to, 
to have fun and gather, gather knowledge with your students. And also Glam Wiki, uh, like uh, our um, um, contributions uh, from uh, many cultural institutions uh, to the Wikimedia Commons. These files are free to download, to use, uh, and to have fun and uh, with your students too. Okay, sorry about the slides. If you have some questions, or I can uh, go back to some slides. I can do it now. Thank you very much. Uh, it was really, really interesting, even uh, without uh, the, the, the slides. It was interesting. Uh, I think it's a great initiative. So uh, please post the slides on, uh, on, on uh, Connect, then we can all look at it uh, later on. Uh, can we stop the recording?